Today I'm going to be replacing the angle sensor on my 2002 Honda Foreman slash Rubicon 500 ATV. So this is the sensor, angle sensor, and uh, I'm going to start by, I'm not going to actually do it, but uh, removing the, the cowling that's on the side here. And then I've already re removed the two bolts here that hide what we're going for here. So then you remove this. And what we're going for is this sensor down here. Whoops. Sensor down here underneath the exhaust. So I may need to remove this exhaust, but I'm going to see if I can get that out one way or another. So stay tuned, and there you can see the sensor we're going to replace. So yeah, it looks like I'll have to remove the exhaust there. It looks like there's one, two uh, clamps there. So we'll see if we can get that removed and uh, go from there. So stand by. It appears this is just a cowling and stuff. So. Clamps actually just hold that, it's one sided, so you can pull it right off. And then there's the exhaust. So I'm going to actually try and take this off without removing the actual exhaust because that looks a little more complicated, and I'd rather avoid that if I can. So we'll get in here and see if we can't remove that. Stand by. So, yes, using a regular angled uh, <clears throat> four millimeter Allen wrench. You can get those little bolts out. They're not too long. Or I'll be a little over, well, about a half inch long. So you can get those out without taking out the exhaust. <clears throat> it's just a little more time consuming, but probably no more than taking out the exhaust and then having to replace some gaskets on that. So I'd rather avoid that. So, but um, anyways, four millimeter bolts. Uh, Allen wrench will get that out. Um, it's just slow going, but you can do it. So I got my book out and I checked the sensor and uh, you can see the prongs there. There's A is on the left, B is on the right, and C is in the middle. I'll show you a picture of that, um, identifying those two. And then the center here would be the shaft. But it shows how you test using connecting those leads to A and B. And you should get an ohm reading of between 0 and 1600 to 2400 ohms. I only got 2 ohms on this old one. And I checked the new one and it seemed to work alright. But uh, And then you just use a flat screwdriver to change the shaft here. And uh, will change the ohms when you're reading it from an ohm meter. So, just to show you how to test that and stuff. And anyways, I'm going to put this in. Now, installation, the new one uh, does work, so just so you know. Um, installation is uh, a little bit different because when I pulled it out, I could hear the shaft, or feel the shaft kind of pushing against me as I pulled up on the sensor. I could, the shaft on the engine was uh, rotating what appeared to be counterclockwise. Well, yeah. So when you install the install the sensor, you actually install it opposite and rotate it clockwise into position to put the bolts in. So again, you you install it basically opposite of what you think. I also wanted to show you the comparison here. Um, this is the new one. It's got a new o-ring on it right here and the old one of course does too um, you need to oil that up just a little bit on that o-ring before you put it in they recommend some loctite on the bolts when you put that in as well but I wanted to show you that and uh, before installing it just to uh, show you the o-ring but it's hard to see because everything is black but there you can kind of see the edge of it there there's the, the o-ring 
There, that's a little better. So anyways, we'll get that installed and uh, rotate that clockwise uh, 180 degrees and get those bolts in and I'll show you next. Thanks. And there's the new one after I put it in with the connector facing the opposite side and rotated it clockwise. I could feel it wind, I guess you could call it a wind feeling of it turning. It's kind of spring loaded and turning it into place and it wasn't hard. Um, and again, I didn't remove the exhaust, so it was just a little harder with using an Allen wrench to get this in, but you can do it. And then I put the connector back on once it was in place and the bolts were tight. So next I'll put the uh, exhaust shield on and then uh, the little call it call little plastic shield as well. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you that. Okay. So there's with the exhaust shielding on again the sensor and I just used a uh, quarter inch um, screwdriver quarter inch end on it and stuff don't need a really a socket or anything just a quarter inch screwdriver or something there to uh, tighten down the, the uh, clamps here and so just wanted to show you that, There's just two. to get that on. Next I'll put on the cowling, plastic cowling, and uh, show you that. Just I don't put all the cowling on, and I won't show you all that, but I put this one shield over the exhaust just to protect my leg. But uh, anyways, I'll show you that next. Hang on. All right. So now I got that plastic cowling on, shield on. So everything's back to normal, and uh, that is how you replace the angle sensor on a 2002 Honda Foreman slash Rubicon 500. I think it's the TRX 500 FA for the whole thing, if you're looking for it, but just to let you know. But uh, anyways, that's how you replace it, and uh, next I'll test it out. And See if it works, but it should because the ohm readings were working on it and the old one wasn't, so that should should help with uh, some of the changing changing gears and stuff, forward, reverse, and low, and speeds as well. So, anyways, that should help. So, well, with the uh, new angle sensor in, uh, it does seem to shift and do what it's supposed to do. Uh, no flashing. Uh, display screen or anything like that I actually get the information I need on the display screen of the uh, of the dash um, on the ATV I get uh, neutral drive low reverse things like that and before it was sometimes I wouldn't get any of that showing any of that and it would just flash at me with a kind of a blank screen not showing any letters so uh, it seems to be working now. I will continue to test it and see that it continues to do that. But at the moment, it is working. So just wanted to give you that update. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.